Okay then, hi YouTubers, this is just um, a bit of a video to show you some stuff I've been working on with my Blood Angels Army. Uh, I'm using a new camera, so you have to bear with me. High definition camera now, which should be should improve the video quality, we'll see. Anyway, this is one I did a while ago, this is, um, let me just move this out of the way. Uh, a Venerable Dreadnought, not one of my best ones I'm afraid because it, once again it's metal and I don't know why but I seem to have a right issue when it comes to painting metal. I just don't seem to be able to get the shading right and so forth but nonetheless, paint it in Blood Angels colours. I don't know how close I can get with this thing before it loses focus. But mm, when you look this close it looks quite messy. I think we'll move it back a bit, it looks better. Yeah. So, yeah, that's finally done out of the way. I'm not really going to do anything else with it. To be honest, the model was just getting on my nerves anyway. Um, one of my terminators. This is a plastic terminator. This is a uh, done Blood Angels colour, Sergeant. Um, I've experimented with the power weapon a little here. Because uh, I saw an article in a, a White Dwarf magazine, a recent one, and I, was, I really liked the way they portrayed sort of like static electricity up the blade I think I've got it close but it's not fantastic but brings the blade alive a little and I think it looks quite good for a power weapon um, Blood Angels armor obviously experimented with me shading I put a few paint chips on it because I think it's it's got a few chips on it these guys have been around for a long time their armor's not going to be pristine Trusted to the purity seals as well, usual thing. Moving on, uh, my basic troops, tactical. I use the Gowns Workshop metal shoulder pads. Third company, as you can see, and also the um, Blood Angels emblem, which is traditionally painted black, but it doesn't show very well. Um, I've just given it a basic game standard highlight to make it look quite visible on the table. From a distance you can see some of it's a bit extreme, but I'm not too concerned, they look neat. That's the main primary importance. Let's just see if I can get a bit closer without it. Moving out of focus, there we go. Drilled all the parallels out as usual. A few flame effects as well, muzzle flashes I should say. Yeah, so that's tactical troops. Oh, and this is the sergeant for that particular um, squad, traditional black shoulder pads, bit of freehand, there we go, feather, I don't seem to be able to do anything else, you'll be seeing a lot of feathers, paint chips, usual thing, quite a neat job, I'm quite pleased with him, he doesn't look too bad, and of course, like a few other people, quite a few other people I should imagine, I bought the Space Hulk box set, because I just had to have the Terminators in it. Um, spent a lot of time on these guys. Um, I can see how close I can get now without it losing focus. I think that's about as much as I'm going to get. Lots of shading on this. Lots of fancy bases as well. I've uh, cobbled together out of bits of sprue, some of the barbed wire. Spent a lot of time on these guys. Shading. There's so much detail on them, it takes ages to do one figure. Drill the barrels. That's my email going off, just ignore that. Yeah. I've basically copied what was in the uh, the White Dwarf issue that showed them, and the painting guide, which was very good, very helpful. And another one I've done. This one was worse, the amount of purity seals and chains and bits of jewels hanging off him. Still. Worth it in the end because they look awesome figures. I've even drilled the, I don't know if I can get the right angle, you can just about see it there, the holes on the um, assault cannon for extra detail. That was a nightmare to do. Loads of shading. I haven't got a clue on half of these things are hanging down off his belt, but they look pretty nice when they're painted. Gone for their colour scheme in the White Dwarf because I like the black power fist. Um, pretty plain base on this one, but still looking good. I should do the whole unit like that. 
And there you have it. That's pretty much it for the moment. That's a distance. I don't look too bad at all. Let's just do a little bit of an experiment here with the camera and just see how close I can get in on these guys before I lose focus. Not too bad, I'm not going to push my luck anymore. Anyway, more updates to come. I'm actually working on a, a new game table at the moment. Um, it's going to be a mine planet. Pretty much uh, mine to death. Very rocky, very barren. Which I'll be playing with my uh, partner. Um, some standard 40k battles. Because I tend to do more modelling than I do actually playing. So I'm finding my... Uh, rule set knowledge can be a bit uh, well crap at times because I just don't play enough to get used to it all so I'm building this table essentially to um, maintain a static scenery base play several games on it allowing me to get used to multi-level combat um, generally learn how the troops work how all of the um, squads work within the 40k game should be interesting. Anyway, there'll be a video of that soon. I've been working on it two weeks now, so I reckon another week and a half for construction. Then probably two weeks for painting because I've got so much going on, it's incredible. Anyway, I hope you like it. And talk to you soon.